Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to give you an introduction to public rapid charging for electric cars by taking my 2020 MG ZS EV to an Instavolt public charger. For those of you that are unfamiliar with electric cars and terminology and types of charger, a rapid charger is the closest you're going to get to a petrol pump for an internal combustion engine car. It will charge you from a low state of charge to a reasonable high state of charge as quickly as physically possible, depending on the specification of the charger you're using and what your car can take, and it will get you going again as quickly as possible. Now there is a downside to that and that is the cost. Instavolt charges 35 pence per kilowatt hour, which is some might say is on the high side, but it's fairly typical for public rapid charging that you need to pay for. And it, it isn't the way you would charge all the time, but certainly to enable you to take a longer journey, it'll be a pretty essential part of that. So I'm going to show you how simple the process is to plug in, get charging. I'll talk a little bit more about public charging in general. And hopefully, for those of you that are unfamiliar, it'll give you a good introduction. I've just arrived on site at the Instavolt. Um, it's a fairly typical Instavolt installation. We've got two units here, uh, 50 kilowatt chargers, both with uh, CHAdeMO and CCS. So we need CCS for the um, MGZS. And the only criticism I've got, I'm at the, it's, it's at the Southbrook Retail Park site in Gloucester. It's the only criticism I've got is we've got two retail units here. We've got Magnet Kitchens and Smith's Toys. And these chargers are pretty much located slap bang in the middle of the two entrance doors for the shops so it's quite a prone site to people with internal combustion engine cars parking in them because it's close to the door and they're, they're either completely ignorant to, to what's, what these things are for they miss the signs that say electric vehicle charging point only or they just plain don't care and they don't want to walk as far I would sooner see these units put right in the far corner away from everything and then the incentive to park in them unless you really need to charge certainly goes down but hey ho let's get plugged in Okay, so the charging process should be pretty straightforward. Remove the two covers for the charge port. Tap contactless card on the screen. Okay. CCS connector. And we're charging and the speed is ramping up through 30 kilowatt and rising. So that's us plugged in and charging. And as you can see, it's about as easy an experience as you could possibly hope for. You scan your card, you plug your car in, it starts charging. Perfect. It's as simple as it gets. There's no app. There's nothing to sign up for. It just works. And that's why Instavolt is one of my preferred charging networks to use if I need to use a rapid charger. This video is not sponsored by Instavolt. They haven't asked me to make this video. I'm purely trying to document the state of the public charging networks. And how I and show you my real experiences of how I get on charging my MGZS. So it's been 40 minutes, pretty much exactly 40 minutes, and we've charged to 78%, which has added 80 miles to our range. And that's pretty much bang on exact what MG say. They say that it will charge from 20 to 80% in 40 minutes. So I don't think we can complain about that at all. The charging speed seems pretty good. 
obviously there are faster charges out, chargers out there that might have got us there quicker, but that's all good. So ending the charge and disconnecting is just as easy as starting it. We're actually at 80% now, which is good. Tap the card again. Charging stopped. Unplug. Cable back where it goes. Put the rubber bungs back. The infamous charging port covers that everybody complains about. There we go. And we're good to go. So there you are then. That's how you use an Instavolt public rapid charger. And that's how well it works with the MG ZS. Gone from 20% to 80% in 40 minutes. And it cost about £9. And make of that what you will. Reasonably expensive, yes. Paying for the convenience, definitely. And it's nowhere near as crazy as Ionity with their 6 to 9 pence per kilowatt. We don't actually want you charging here unless you bought one of our partner cars rates. If there's any other charging networks you're particularly interested in, please let me know in the comments. And let me know how your experiences have gone with public charging as well. I know there's some real shockers out there. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.